When you connect to a simulation, DVT recommends switching to the debug perspective, which is a convenient arrangement of debug-related views. All of DVT's capabilities are also available. Let's use Ctrl-I to bring up the quick compile order view and locate the master driver source file. Ctrl-O pops up the quick outline view and allows us to locate the drive transfer task. Now let's add some breakpoints. Double-click next to the desired line on the editor's vertical left bar. Let's do the same for the slave monitor's collect transactions. And for the scoreboard's memory verify. The breakpoints view shows a summary of all the breakpoints. The debug toolbar buttons control the simulation. Let's click on resume to run the simulation until the scoreboard breakpoint is hit. Note that the currently executed line is automatically revealed and highlighted, and likewise when going up and down the call stack. Now let's step over a few lines then out of the memory verify function and other color functions until we get inside the monitor scope. Then let's step into. In the variables view, we can browse the current scope variables. Suppose we are interested in some specific transaction data, like address and direction, so let's watch these in the Expressions view. Simply hovering a variable in the editor will pop up a tooltip, which presents the usual information enriched with the current variable value. Now let's break inside the driver only when the transaction address is an even number. To do this, we right-click on the breakpoint, go to Properties, and fill in the condition. We can also disable the other breakpoints for now, to hit directly the driver one. If we are interested in what happens when the transaction has a different direction, we can simply change the direction from the Variables view.